Well, you hit it on the head. It's, it is a matter of showing up. And so when you talked about this in episode number two, when you got into radio, you were there, you're on, whether you have anything to say or not, and you failed miserably. You sat there in silence for five minutes because you didn't know what to say. And the board operator, he's screaming at you. Come on, you got to say something, anything, just speak. And so the very first time, and this is kind of a little behind the scenes, folks. Maybe you're interested in this. The very first time we did this episode, I sat here and I pushed the record button, but I couldn't bring myself to actually start the show. And Sloper's like, what's going on? I go, dude, you got to give me the countdown. Three, <laughs> you got to give me the countdown. Like, So I'm standing at the top of the Grand Canyon. I got bungee cord hooked to my feet. I'm out on the platform, but my knees are locked. I can't jump. And he finally gives me the countdown and I jump. And now every Wednesday comes around when we record these shows. And I'm excited. I'm pumped. It's a blast. I love to produce content for you, for the audience. I hope that everyone listening, everyone uh, reading, everyone watching the content that I produce gets something out of it. And there's nothing better when you get that feedback. There's this euphoric emotional high that happens. And it's happened this entire last week. Like I said, I thought I was going to be rejected. and It was entirely the opposite. More people bought my book than I could have ever expected. I actually ran out of books. I had to rush uh, another couple of hundred from the publishing warehouse. And one guy, Tony Acosta, so he sent me and tagged me on Facebook. And this was really the last drop of emotion that created a flood for me. To have somebody share your book. To have somebody identify it as the quote-unquote turning point. And so here's what he said. He tagged it in Facebook. I woke up the next morning and it said, finally here, turning point ahead. Thanks, Ryan. And it was those seven words. It was that one picture that made me realize that I can't take eight months off again. I have a responsibility. I have a duty to the community that I serve. 